other things now about when you're putting your candle down. You wanna make sure your atmosphere is clear of things that can be flammable because you don't want things catching on fire. Um, so what I usually recommend, if you're, if you're, it's gonna be in a basement setting, you can put it on a plate and leave it there whatsoever and light it. Or what you can do, if you feel like you want more security, you can get a candle guard. Now this is a candle guard that I've had for about 20 years. I don't even know where they even sell these things anymore, but I had this from a long, long time ago. You can kind of see this thing is age has patina on there and everything. So I would put my candle in here whatsoever as is lit or basically before, before, I, light, before I light the candle and I light my candle. But I want to make sure it's clear from drapes or anything like that that can catch fire whatsoever. Now, another way of securing your candle can be putting it in a pot with water. Because candles can be flammable. Sometimes it can crack, sometimes it can explode. You know, you light your candle, right? Now, also, depending on what job you're doing, if you're trying to affect someone, you know, this may not be a good option for you. Now, this is where, this is where something, this is where the game changes for a bit. Because now, let's just say we're working on someone, whether it's love magic whatsoever. Let's just say this is a piece of paper. We write the name of our target on a piece of paper, whomever it is. Whether the job is for healing, whether the job is for protection, we're gonna write the, tar the target's name on a piece of paper. So let me say we write Jane whatsoever, right? We sit our candle on top of it. Now we can make whatever prayers we need to. Sometimes your com you don't even need to make a prayer. Sometimes your combination has everything in it. It already knows what needs to be done. The universe or the spirits that you're working with or whatever, they're gonna recognize what you're doing. Now, that's something that a lot of people have not heard before. They probably heard things from different people. Now, from my perspective, from me practicing Vodou, Haitian Maji, I can tell you that it works. Now, I wanna talk also about ingredients. Now, ingredients, as you've seen here, this is already mixed. This is a plethora of harmonious combinations that I've put together. So this is already mixed. Some people are looking at it as one bottle. This thing has to have at least 20 different plants in here that has been uh, liquidated and basically put into this, you know? So now, another thing, outside of what I just showed you for dressing a candle. You have techniques such as what I like to do at times, depending on what the job I'm, what the job I'm doing is, is dressing candles. You can dress candles with herbs. You can dress candles, like prime example, this is, this is like burdock root, right? This is pure, so I know it's pure, right? You can consume it. So what I like to do at times is I'd crack my, I would crack my uh, capsule open, pour a little bit in there. Of course, knowing already that this is a harmonious combination and it is compatible with the oil I mixed in there. Then I get to work again. Now let's just say you can use black pepper at times, depending on what type of shit, that, the type of work that you're doing. And if it's harmonious, harmony is very important. If it's not harmonious, you can end up fucking everything up. But yeah, there's a lot of techniques that goes into candles, you know, but there's there's way more stuff that I could talk about, but for the sake of this video, I can't really go into detail like that because there's some things that are private. You just gotta get work done by me to basically get some inside intel. Um, some people also, before I even conclude this, some people even have an old technique where what they would do, when I was learning whatsoever, uh, they would show me engraving inside the candle. Some people would put a star in there whatsoever. Everybody got their technique, you know? Everybody got their technique whatsoever, right? But for me, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. 
Some people engrave it like that and they pour their ingredients in. Some people do it after or before. So I just wanna share some things with you about candle magic, dressing candles, so and so. I hope this video is very informative. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.